Hey everyone and welcome to Grow Alabama. My name's Adam. Uh, I'm one of the chefs down here. I'm also in charge of packing your delivery box for the week. What I'd like to do, if y'all don't mind, is take a few minutes, walk through the box, give you some ideas about what to do with your vegetables, some things that are coming in, uh, maybe talk about some care, some quality control on some things, and just show you what to do when it uh, arrives at your door. So if you will, give me just a moment. I'd like to walk you through. We have a very nice eggplant coming in for the summer. I like to stew it down. I like to work with onions with it. Uh, works also very well in a fried application. Uh, we're known for doing our fried eggplants down here in the south, but you can also do an eggplant curry, which is something very different that you might want to look into and try out. Uh, beet greens that we had last week that Chef Bob taught us all how to do something with. Everybody should be very familiar with their beets and their beet greens. I like to take the whole beets themselves, roast them, with a little olive oil, a little salt and pepper, nice hot oven, the skins will pop just right off. Uh, beautiful beets, I love the beets and I love to pair them with the braised beet green like Bob did last week. Nice red vine vinegar, a little bit acidic, comes out tasting really nice, they wilt down really good. If you find that uh, they come from the farm and they are farm fresh folks, what you may want to do, put them in an ice bath, soak them in a little bit of ice water, they'll perk right back up. Uh, and they can also go straight into your cook pot as well. Either way, whatever you'd like to do with them is fine. Uh, our Kentucky Wonder Magnum Variety Pole Beans that are Cook's Companion. You can't do any better than this. You don't have to sit over a table all day. Uh, clean green beans, so you can just snap them. They go right into your cook pot. They work out really well. And we have lovely, lovely bunches of beans this week. Also, uh, English cucumber varieties, and I, I'm just really happy about these this week. Got a nice size in, uh, really cool, crisp, uh, work great in salads, but everybody does that. Try them with crab meat, try them with grilled shrimp. Uh, sliced cucumbers with grilled shrimp, a little balsamic vinaigrette works really well together. Uh, different textures, different flavors. We want to get you to try something new with your cucumbers instead of a salad. Uh, we have green tomato varieties coming in this week. Um, doing those with the sauces like Chef Bob showed us uh, is working out really well. Uh, and red ripe tomatoes as well. The flavor's coming through really good on these. The sun, the heat of the summer just really, really makes that red tomato come out with a lot of flavor. Love the red tomatoes. Love them just plain. Just straight red tomato with a little salt and pepper. There's nothing better than that, folks. Uh, you do squash varieties again this week. We're going to have a variety pack of crookneck Mediterranean. We'll have some zucchini in later this week. Uh, everybody likes to stew it down with onions. Uh, squash works well. Grilled squash is a great application that you can do for those. Uh, really small, really delicate, tender squash varieties. New potatoes coming in this week. Guys, they're going to be coming from the farm. They're going to be ha they're going to have a little dirt on them. Rinse them off in the sink roast them in the oven, uh, serve them with steak, pork. They work really well with a lot of different proteins. Uh, not so much a boiler potato, but a very good roasting potato. Okay, once we get past the new potatoes. Oh, cantaloupes, guys. Love my cantaloupe. Love the smell of fresh Athena cantaloupe. Very ripe, nice, uh, good quality cantaloupes coming in. Uh, chilled fruit salads, really great with cantaloupe. Uh, breakfast in the morning, my personal favorite. Uh, and Napa cabbage. Also, uh, this will be the last week of Napa cabbage uh, coming out. All of it's been harvested from the farmer. Uh, don't want y'all to get discouraged though. We will have some coming and we'll be getting some new in in the fall. Uh, but the Napa varieties are looking really good. Hey, Miss Cindy, how you doing, ma'am? Hey, Adam, how are you today? Nice to see you very much. What'd you to bring see me? You. Brought, our, brought your supply of fresh goat cheese and shredded okay, goat beautiful. feta. And you've got about six varieties that we're going to have up for our customers here within the next week or two. Yes. Great. Uh, love the fresh goat milks. Love with your, what you're doing up there. And Chef Bob will be using that up next in our cooking segment to go with our Napa cabbage. Thank you so much, Cindy. Thank you, I appreciate Adam. you coming down, man. Great. Guys, the goat cheese, beautiful product. Love it. Goat cheese and cucumbers. To go back to our cucumber chilled salad. Goat cheese and cucumbers meant to be together. Like I say, the Napa's wrapping up for the years, guys. Harvest is over. We will be getting some in again this fall. 
Um, and also I want to take a moment to tell you we've got uh, the Grow Alabama Herb Gardens. We're going to have windowsill units ready for you for your home kitchen coming in the next week or two. Different herb varieties that you can purchase through GrowAlabama.com. Uh, I thank you so much for all your support, guys. Please stay tuned and uh, come back and see me again next week for your weekly delivery menu. Thank you very much.